violence during the Iraq war left a country permanently scarred. Corey Cunningham, who served two terms in Iraq in the Marine Corps, witnessed it firsthand. You know, it's, it's a country that the infrastructure has been destroyed through, the, through Saddam's regime, and then now they're in the process of rebuilding the infrastructure. The aftermath of war left Iraq with a shortage of drinking water, but still an abundance of sunshine. So some local San Diegans formed a partnership with the Iraqi government. Basically what we were requested to do was to design a system that could take river water and uh, purify it, suck it from the river safely, run it through a unit, purify it, and provide drinking water. The mission to deploy more than 400 water purification systems to Iraq on the fast track within four months to prevent more people from getting cholera, a disease caused by drinking contaminated water. This provides uh, a bridge, if not a uh, permanent solution, for a lot of the smaller villages where you can actually combine you know, solar and water to bring, produce clean drinking water for the people there. And Normally, a system like this would be installed in cement in the ground. But here, we designed it with outriggers so that it could be deployed using oil barrels, which are plentiful in Iraq, and sand ballast these so it holds it down so it doesn't blow away. Which means the system can be set up anywhere, even in remote villages with no electricity, as long as there's a water supply, no matter how dirty. Basically, a seven stage process, the seven stage filtration process, screens and, and filters, and it hits a membrane, is the last stage which is basically gets rid of every suspended piece of material in it so it comes out clear and then it goes through a UV tube and that kills off all the bacteria. And we had an independent lab examine it and it's the water's great perfect quality. This one's got a lot of stuff in it that might make you a little sick and then this one's good enough that we can drink it. The team is also working on a reverse osmosis machine for water supplies with high salinity levels and desalinates it and makes it pure for drinking water. And it's all powered by a never-ending commodity, the sun. It makes sense because people need clean water and employing these systems you can give them water for less than a penny a gallon.